welcome back to my channel so today's video is on this look and I'm gonna be using a lot of the products that I got on my boxycharm I love getting boxycharm because I feel like I get a lot of things and a lot of colors different and a lot of products and things that I get to try and it's really exciting theme for this month is afterglow and it comes with the Too Faced better than sex mascara now right away I can tell you I've tried it I do like it but I feel like the lash paradise whatever lash it's a really good dupe for it so I'm actually not gonna be opening this I have like three other mascaras that I'm trying out I've tried this I like it so I'm not gonna be opening this because I do want to add this to my giveaway so that is $24 it feels really heavy and like metal i really really like packaging like that okay and then i get i mean i got the pretty vulgar shimmering swan highlighter which is this right here and this retails for 32 dollars mm, okay then the next thing is the touch in soul no problem primer it's this little guy right here and this retails for 18 dollars that's not bad for a primer hmm, okay and it's glass and it has a pump which I really 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 appreciate okay now the next thing is pharmacy clean be ultra gentle facial cleanser I did try this um, this morning and washing my face it is I mean it's a cleanser I didn't notice anything different or crazy or drying or anything like that so I mean it's pretty good this retails for $22 now I hope that this is in the full size because if this is $22 then the last thing that I got is the Testique Prime and Glaze Lip Crayon which is this little guy right here. That retails for $25. If you guys want to see how I get this look, what I think of the products, go ahead and keep watching. But before we do, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, like this video, and turn on the little notification bell so you know when I upload and we live happily ever after. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Psych! Um, I did forget to mention something. If you guys don't know what BoxyCharm is, it's a monthly subscription box that you get and it's $21 a month unless you get like the big packages and it goes like the price goes lower. But anyway, I just calculated the price on all the items that I got on my box and it comes out to $121 for paying only $120 a month. That's honestly such a good deal. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started. So I actually already have my eyebrows done just to kind of save some time. So we're going to go in with the pore, I mean with the no pore, oh my god. <laughs> so we're going to go in with the no pore blem primer. And this is a smooth and pore covering top secret pore perfect makeup. This reminds me a lot of the e.l.f. pore primer. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit on my face and see how this works. It smells really good. Feels uh, very like oily, I guess. I mean, not oily, but just very... <gasps> Oh my god, did I just do that? Okay, we are gonna have to fix my brows. So I guess you can use this primer as a makeup removing. Oh my god, I totally forgot I had my eyebrows done. And I was super rubbing them. Ah, <laughs> que pendeja. Oh my god. Well, I'm just gonna leave them like that and then just fix them when I do my eyeshadow. Wow, what a dummy. It's not sticky, but I do kind of feel it on my skin. Like if I go like that, it's very, I don't know how to explain it. So it just came with primer. It didn't come with like foundation or anything. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Fresh Wear Foundation. Now I got the color 455, which is natural buff just because I feel like usually that's the color that I am. I feel like this is going to be too light. We're just going to start like that and then just kind of work our way. Wow, it has really good coverage. I hadn't used this foundation, but I've seen so many people talk about it and just 
talk about how great it is and so far I'm liking it so like if you don't enjoy scented things this might not be it for you but I feel like it might be really really like scenty because of the primer already has a scent and the foundation already has a scent so honestly the foundation might not even be that bad I was gonna tr yeah okay I'm just gonna do a little bit more just to see how buildable it is it is very light like I don't really feel it on this might sound weird but I can feel the primer but not really the foundation like I feel my face kind of like if I only still had the primer on so far with just the foundation on I'm gonna say it did do a pretty good job in covering up like my pores it does look very smooth honestly I did not have high expectations for this primer but it's pretty good now for concealer I'm gonna go in with the fit me concealer and this is the color 25 the scent of this foundation honestly is very strong it smells like um like a perfumey kind of soap like it smells clean and fresh honestly my face looks like super smooth I don't know if you can tell I really like this primer wow okay i'm gonna use my pretty vulgar uh setting powder i didn't really bake i'm just kind of putting a little bit well not a little bit that was a lot i'm gonna use my Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer it's been raining so much um in dallas right now that like dallas hasn't <laughs> that sounds funny that my dog dallas hasn't really gone like outside to like run around and play in a while so right now she's out there and i can hear her barking like crazy and I know it's at the squirrels so I have my face done now I'm gonna move on to eyes and I'll do the highlighter at the end I didn't show my January box so I'm just gonna use whatever I got on my January box and that is the Tarte eyeshadow palette and this is the sizzle one I think the packaging is so 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 freaking cute it's like a corally orange kind of color now the inside I mean they're okay colors but they're not my favorite so we're just gonna do something simple with the eyes I'm gonna take the color Palaya put that all over the lids don't worry guys I didn't forget I'll fix my eyebrows later so Palaya honestly I feel like it has like no color it might just be the same color as my lid. Now I'm gonna go in with the color Paddleboard. Honestly, if we are being truthful here, I'm not a big fan of like Tarte eyeshadows. I feel like they don't really float my boat, you know? They're not really pigmented. It might just be me. They do have really cute packaging though. Like if you see Paddleboard on the palette, it's this one right here. It looks darker than it's going on the eyes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the color Starfish, which is this kind of wine kind of color. And now I'm gonna go in with the color Snorkel, which is this pinky kind of shimmery color. Now I'm just using a flat brush. Now with a smaller brush, I'm gonna go in in the color off duty which is this dark brown kind of color i'm just gonna deepen out the edge a little bit and i'm actually gonna use this same color for the bottom of the eye with a tiny tiny flat brush i'm gonna go in with the color kite surf which is this shimmery color and use that on the inner corner now i'm gonna add actually let me finish redo the brows Okay, you know what? I'm gonna redo the brows, add a little bit of liner, lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so after like 10 meltdowns, my eyeliner and my lashes are on. Not perfect, but I was in the struggle bus for real. So eyes are done. Now I'm gonna go in with the Pretty Vulgar Highlighter. Now it looks really pretty, but looks funky, but... So this is what it looks like. Hopefully it's not like super, super light for me. Now that is the color Shimmering Swan. So that's from the Pretty Vulgar. Now we're gonna go in with the lip color. This is in the color English Rose. I do wanna say thank you to BoxyCharm because they didn't send me another purple shade. Thank you. 
Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so this is the bottom of that thing. Ooh, okay. So the primer's kind of just like a lip balm. That's really cute. And then you open like that, and there goes the color. I have pretty big lips, so I feel like this skinny ass thing is not gonna help me cover my whole lip. Kind of feel like it's more of a lip liner. Not a big fan. I mean, this is really cute with the whole like primer underneath and all of that. I find it kind of difficult to put this kind of lipstick on. <sighs> Just was not my, oh, it's magnetic. <gasps> Well, I mean, they get like an A plus for packaging, but the color, color's okay. Nothing crazy, nothing, whatever. I do wish the applicator was a little bit different. It is a satin kind of feel. It's not matte. It's not glossy. It's cute though. I mean, eh. this is the finish look. I mean, I like the things that I got. The primer, I think is my favorite thing that I got. The highlighter is okay. Not my favorite. The lipstick, meh whatever so yeah thanks again for coming back staying all the way to the end don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and bye